your number one news team covering the North. The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. The Cape Grand Bahama Clean initiative started some 12 years ago with the aim to spread awareness about the importance of protecting the environment while maintaining a clean, green and pristine Grand Bahama Island. This week, the campaign members took the message into the summer camps. Megan Shepard explains. Campers of the Southwest Division of the Police Youth Summer Camp getting a visit from members of the Keep Grand Bahama Clean Campaign Committee. Chairperson of the committee, Nikira Wolchkom, says that every year they target camps from east to west, spreading the message of maintaining a clean environment. We think it's very important, obviously, that we begin with our children, encouraging them to do the right thing so that they can encourage their parents in turn to do the right thing. And so this is just one of the stops that we're making this summer, spreading that message of the importance of not littering, not indiscriminate dumping. And so we know that they're agents of change. And so we hope to begin with them so that they can be our future leaders who are doing it the right way. You have probably seen the cartoon characters around town or on television. Wilshkom says these puppets helped deliver the message of cleanliness in a fun way. Years ago, we started off with presentations, formal presentations, but we wanted to do something different to reach our children. And so we introduced puppetry. And so we all all play these puppets. You would have seen Chris around town in some of the signage, Stop Like Nastiness. So he's certainly one of our characters. And there's also Candace and Lisa. And so, you know, we use these puppets to send a very important message. And so it's laced with some laughter, but a serious message nonetheless. Camp Coordinator Sergeant Lamardo Bo says that so far, the camp has been going awesome. They have been going five weeks now, and every week they try to teach the kids a valuable lesson. One of the things that we attempt to do here at the camp, or we intend to do, is to make the kids aware of their environment in terms of conservation, in terms of, you know, just keeping their entire environment clean. And so one of the things is we've invited the um, Keep Grandma Hama Clean Committee to come in and share with our campus on ways they can do just that. In addition to that, we also have planned for them a beach cleanup where our campus will be going out um, and actually um, picking up some garbage and other stuff in, in terms of keeping their, their whole environment clean. Megan Shepard, SNS Network News. Now to our Generation Y report. This week we will meet a young man who from a very young age had his eyes fixed on the culinary arts and while it hasn't been an easy road, he believes he may now have the recipe to a successful career. Here is Italia Hall. Straightery Shushiva is the name of the company. From the 8th grade, young chef and entrepreneur Stanford Monroe, also known as AJ, loved being in the kitchen with his uncle, and cooking was his focus in high school. Following high school, he went on to college and worked in several restaurants, from Pelican Bay, Luciano's, Sabor, and Flying Fish. He says through his work experience, he gained a lot of knowledge about cooking and shared what brings him joy in the kitchen. And the, uh, the talks about what different flavors and what like they never had this before and experience something new. He also had an opportunity to run a restaurant, but that came to an end, which he says was a difficult moment for him, but that pushed him to start his own business. Going full time, it was a bit different because it's yours. It isn't anybody else's own. It's your money, it's your time, and only you can push your own self. So there'll be days and nights where I and I don't get no sleep. Now every day the young chef offers a different dish, which he delivers to persons throughout the community. But he is widely known for creating a number of sushi dishes with a Bahamian twist on Fridays. He says some Fridays there are more than 100 orders. See, when people think about sushi, only think about raw meat. Well, I said they get to educate themselves and to know that we have other ones that are cooked, which are tempuras and you know, going from there as in having a new experience. This is a role that uh, a lot of people uh, really look forward to as a shrimp wise, because you know a lot of Bahamians like shrimp. Um, and the crab meat itself is just uh, shredded and 
Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's very tasty. The entrepreneur says he does private catering, but plans to take his business up a notch as he hopes to open his own restaurant. He also had this advice for other aspiring chefs. They say it's going to be hard. People really don't look at chefs as and like, okay, you cooking, I can do this too. But it isn't just about the cooking, it's the determination and the dedication and the details you put in the in your meals. This is Ask the Doctor. Sam from NASA asked, is the flu shot safe? Thank you for a great question, Sam. The flu shot is actually a vaccination that often protects you from getting the flu, and while it may not give you total protection, it is well worth getting. Influenza is a respiratory infection that can cause serious complications, particularly to young children, older adults, and people with certain medical conditions. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, also called the CDC, recommends that everyone six months of age or older be vaccinated annually against influenza. Vaccination is especially important for people at high risk of influenza complications, including pregnant women, older adults and young children, chronic medical conditions can also increase your risk of influenza complications. So persons suffering from asthma, cancer or receiving cancer treatment, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, cystic fibrosis, diabetes, obesity, HIV or AIDS, and kidney or liver disease should be vaccinated. If you have questions concerning the flu vaccine, please email AskDrBahamas at gmail.com. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt, and this has been Ask the Doctor. And that was a look at stories making news. Jay, give us a preview on what's coming up in sports. Definitely, day two of the B3A's Nationals did live up to expectations. And of course, Buddy Heal is in town, and a lot of kids and athletes looking forward to his annual summer camp. And of course, we'll hear more about that. Stay with us. Jay Felipe has a check on sports when we return.